So we turn to April 2022, question 2B, we'll read together. Then we can take a look. I must have said the reason why we are doing this, you'll find that we'll need to adjust both the income statement, uh, the income statement and also the distribution schedule. The reason is you will realize that there is an expense that is not accrued equal for the year. I think it's the purchase of an asset or something. So let's first read this. It says Amur and Beba have carried on business for the last several years under the trade name AB Partnership. They share profits and losses equally with capital contributor earning interest at the rate of 10% per annum. The following details relate to AB Partnerships transactions. For the year ended 31st December 2021. One, Amuan Beba capital accounts with, with reflect credit balance eh, of 1,200,000 for each. Two, on 1st April, they introduced a new partner, channel. Uh, so in the current year, January to March for three months, they were operating as AB partnership. Then there was an admission on 1st April. They admitted Chanda on April Fool's Day, 1st April. They introduced a new partner, Chanda, who was to contribute also 1,200,000 as his share of capital. They agreed on this day to share profits and losses in the ratio of capital contributed proportional to the period. In other words, you, you can do apportionment based on the period, like the profit accruing from 1st of April to December, that would be, 1st uh, of April would be nine months. To December would be nine months. So you apportion profit for nine months and you share in the new profit. Uh, okay, you share according to cap capital contribution, uh, which apparently looks equal to me because each one of them has contributed the same capital. So they agreed on this day to share profits and losses in the ratio of capital contributed, which is equal, uh, proportionate to the period of the year it was invested, and that this share in ratio be backdated to the start of the year 2021. Mm. Okay, so three, the cost incurred during the year was as follows. Salary and wages for staff, electricity and telephone, repairs and maintenance, depreciation and impairment, general insurance, debenture interest are paid uh, by ABC Limited. So we are, we are ABC Limited. We're gonna, a different company, huh? They became a limited company, or still a partnership. <laughs> anyway, okay, so debenture interest, because debentures are only issued by a company. Oh, there's an ABC limited. Just by name, but it's not really a company, because they are saying even after after China joined, still, they still talk of a partnership. Anyway, director's fees. Oh, so there's a company. Director's fees, including 507, 720 partner salaries, 10, 15, 440, legal expenses, 510, uh, medical. Then we are looking at the wrong question, right? Because this, this looks like a conversion from conversion from a partnership into a limited company, which is very different. Uh, I've picked the wrong question, it seems, eh? because what I was looking for is still admission. But let me just read through. Uh, I don't know. But it seems it's the wrong one. Legal expenses, medical contributions for partners and directors. It seems this is conversion to a company. Ah, then this is limited company. I think this one we'll do in the next one. 
uh, note five says, during the month of partnership, the total salaries to the partners were 507,720. The salaries were to be apportioned according to the period each partner served in the partnership business. Okay, tell you what, eh? it's not a bad question. Why don't we do it after we've discussed conversion into a limited company? So I think we'll not do a second illustration. I'll leave this and we'll start with this as an illustration for the next part, which is conversion from a partnership into a limited company. So it will serve as an example for both. Uh, because I can see there's an expense me happened you could call an expense that did not accrue equally. Note 8 says they say that expenses accrued evenly throughout the year. So it's not this one. It seems I, I picked the wrong question. Still, the question I wanted to do in the Pelearging. This one I picked the wrong one. The right one is this one. Sorry, guys. The right one is December 2022, question 3A. December 2022, question 3A should be the right one. December 2022, question 3A. Bagel, what ABC? December 2022, question 3A. So sorry guys, we read this, December 2022. It says A, B, and C have been trading as a small size partnership sharing profits in the ratio of two is to two is to one respectively. C retire this is the one. Uh, because uh, we have said it can be admission or retirement. So C retire. Uh, from the partnership on 31st August 2021, while A and B agree to continue with the business charging interest on capital at the rate of 15% per annum, as in the previous period when C was still in the partnership. Now, due to the changes in the partnership, goodwill was valued at 1.2 million and was to be returned off immediately. The following trial balance was extracted. Capital accounts, A, 1680, B, 1.4, C, 840. Current accounts, A, 67,200, B, 56,000, uh, C, 44,800. Drawings, A, 78,400, B, 67,200, C, 56. Inventory on 1st January, 252,000. Purchases and sales, 4 million 200 is purchases is 7720. Discounts received 124,000. Bad debts recovered general 193,200. Salaries and wages 722,400. Legal and professional fees 1904,000. Rent and rates, insurance, sundry expenses, trade receivables and payables, allowance for doubtful debts, land at cost delivery, lorry. Depreciation, cash at bank dividends were received from Sasa Cooperative Society, its creditor, and the trial balance balances. Additional information one, sales and purchases were increasing of VAT at the rate of 16%. Cash sales amounted to 358,400 increasing of VAT and were excluded from the above accounts. Two, the following assets were acquired by the business immediately after retirement of C. That's why this is what brings the difference. So, so no, no, not all expenses are crude equally because of note two. So they acquired computers and a saloon car immediately after C retired. C will resume retire which month? C retired in the month of? end of August 31st, after the first eight months. 
C returns. So this transaction means even the income statement cannot be uniform because there is a, a, a investment allowance on computers and saloon car will not have accrued equally throughout the year. Thirty first August twenty twenty one. Good. Then three legal and professional fees include stamp duty, negotiating a bank overdraft, recovery of bad debt, signing a ninety nine year lease agreement, purchase of ace private residence, preparation of employment contracts. Four interest on doings was charged at the rate of ten percent per annum. That must be interest on cash. Doings. Five, inventory at the end was valued at 365000 and the partnership had consistently undervalued inventory each year by 20%. Salaries and wages include partner salaries for 20, shared by the partners according to the profit and loss sharing ratio. Seven, allowance for down fee debts was to be increased to 24800 at TIM. Bar debts written off amounted to 40,000, of which 8,000 relates to general bar debts. Eight, prepaid insurance at the beginning of the year amounted to 8,000, while insurance carrying a tier N amounted to 13,000. Nine, accrued sanitary expenses as at 5 January 2021 and 31 December 2021 amounted to 10,000 shillings and 2,000 shillings respectively. 10 C was paid all its dues on 15 September 2021. The profits and losses were to be shared equally after C's retirement. Unless otherwise stated, assume that all revenues and expenses are accrued equally, even throughout the year. Required. Uh, Roman 1, prepare a statement of adjusted taxable profit or loss for the partnership for the year ended and determine the taxable income for each partner. Dennis, will you go sign it? We realize it was the wrong union conversion. Because I want to convert to a limited company here. The right one is supposed to be December 2022. You need to make some December 2022 questions. Good. I to not have requirement yakwanda. The first requirement in a summer, prepare a statement of adjusted taxable profit or loss for the partnership for the year ending. Nanta wambi uh akuna profit yet for just na kama umeyona unia unioneshe probably mean you see you unona profit anyway. Yakwa just what we've been given is a trial balance. Do you see any profit? Nani anaona profit? Ukiona profit uniambie hata mimi ni kwa weakness. Do you see a profit anywhere? Because so far ile question ya kwanza tulifanya we were given a statement and we easily extracted the profit for adjustment. How did we adjust? By adding back deducting. Hiyo approach ya hizi kutusaidia hapa. For the simple reason we don't have a statement. Na una statement anyway. What we have is a trial balance. What does a trial balance have? Just balances. Sindio? Na haina balance ya profit. Means, ata iyo profit, tuta have to calculate. Na tuta adjust. And how do we calculate it? Note 1 gives us a hint. Note 1 in a summer, sales and purchases were inclusive of VAT. Tumepewa sales. Na tumepewa purchases at the rate of 16%. Car sales amounted to 358,400 and were excluded from the above accounts. 
So kwa hicho our balance kuna sales na kuna purchases. So in other words we can prepare a trading account kwa sababu uh, our knowledge uh, of accounting allows us to do that. So that will give us a slightly different approach. So here will be the approach eh? tutachukua hii sales tumepewa kwa trade balance uh, tumepewa where is this sales again? Kwa hii list kuna kona sales na purchases maybe. Kama ilikuwa the other question. Unaona sales anyway? Hakuna. So it means you have to look for them. How do you look for sales? Kama ukipewa hizi balances kama naona hapa umepewa trade receivables and trade payables. So what you call trade receivables is what you call debtors. So if you can get the total data, it's possible to derive credit sales because cash sales will be not one. Kuna cash sales ya ngapi? Amount in the three eighty four thousand. Anyway, let's let's just put the framework. Then we'll get the item slowly as we go on. So in it were uh, one and one. So in it were A, B, and C partnership. A, B, and C partnership. So we are preparing a statement. Statement of partnership profit. We are not adjusting. Statement of partnership profit or not. Excuse me, Molimo. Yes. Immediately after inventory, the purchases and sales are right there. In, after inventory. Oh, yeah, it's true. So we don't need to use that as eh? So the purchases and sales have been given. It's all right. Uh, thank you very much for uh, the information. So purchases is 4.2 million. Sales is 77.20. That's okay. So statement of partnership profit or loss for the year end. Thank you, part December, we use a complete year. Our uh, complete year will be 2023. Yeah. There. I guess we can use thousands of shillings because I see a lot of zero, right? So we can use thousands of shillings. So we can start by preparing the trading account now that we've been given sales and purchases. Kama hizo hazin we would have tried to reconstruct the debtor's account and the creditor's account, trade receivables and payables, and use uh, stock balances to derive sales as a missing figure, but now it's not necessary. So sales, according to note one, is inclusive of VAT. Just that, like in the previous case, if it's inclusive, then sales is 100%. You add VAT of 16%. If it's included, inclusive, it's equivalent to 116%. So we'll get the proportionate amount. So we'll see sales. So what we've been given in the power balance is the credit sales, because the cash sales is in not one. So the credit sales will be seven million seventy-seven twenty. Now we multiply by a hundred over one sixteen to get sales only. May you talk one happy.
Let's write like three decimals because I'll be a zero. So we are not going to end up Sixty-six, sixty-six, fifty-five, one zero two. Okay. So you need credits. So yeah, credit sales. Then to let the car sales from note one. When I say my car sales amounted to three fifteen point four, is still inclusive of VAT and what excluded from the above. Counts. It was not included there, so we will also bring in cash. Um, and cash sales is 358.4, again, multiplied by 100 over 116. Again, we will include the decimals. So you get this 358.4, we multiply by 100 over 116. And um, that gives us, I'm getting something like 308. So 308. Uh, we put 0 0.966. Yeah? 0 0.966. Okay. So we add this one. Huh? So 66. 55.172 add 308.966 and the total sales is 69, 64.1 That is sales. Then from our knowledge of accounting, we'll subtract the cost of goods sold and our cost of sales to say less cost of sales. So we get cost of sales by getting opening stock or opening inventory. So opening inventory, we can get in the trial balance. And I think it has adjustments also. There's inventory in January, and inventory in January is 252. But there's a note that is important. Look at note five. Note five says inventory at year end was valued at 364. And the partnership had consistently undervalued inventory each year and by 20%. So it means even the opening, because it was the ending inventory last year, was undervalued by 20%. So what we have must be 80% was undervalued. Right? So we can get the correct valuation. So our opening store would be this one. Uh, uh, it occurred. So, so, where is this? 252. So, 252 will multiply by 100 over 80. See? So, the long of which is 80% of the correct stock value, just 80%, because it's undervalued by 20%, is 252. Or 80 over 100. Let me say that. Yeah? Then it means uh, the stock itself, therefore, the correct value of stock, stock is 252 times 100 over. It's, that's what we have. Here. That would be opening stock. So our opening stock then is 252. We multiply by 100 over 80 because it has been another value. So the correct valuation is 315. Agreed? So 315 here is the correct valuation. Then from our accounting theory, we bring in purchases, right? So we want to add purchases. Now purchases we already told is inclusive of VAT, so we have to make that adjustment. So purchases, We've been given in the trial balance as 4.2. So 4.2, we adjust for VET, so multiply by 100 over 116. And again, we get, so 4.2 multiply by 100, divided by 116, and that gives us, we're getting something like that 620. So 3620. 
Then we add to the opening token. So 315 R3620.69, we get a result of 39, 35.69. Then you say we lessen our closing stock, which also has been an abundance deal. So we lessen closing stock, which was also consistently undervalued. So our closing stock is given in that good note, note five. Is 364, it was also undervalued. So three sixty-four has been undervalued by 20%. So you multiply by 100 over 80 to get the correct valuation of closing stock. So 364 times 100 divided by 20, and that gives us 1820. So 1820 is subtract here. Huh? 455. The answer. When you subtract, you get 455. Oh, um, you may multiply, or you may divide by 20 instead of 80. So this is 455 then. Okay, 455. And then we get our output of good so then. So 39, 35. 0.69 minus 455, and that gives us 3480. Yeah? So 3480.69. That gives us gross profit. So that part of the trading account will end there. So gross profit. So gross profit, uh, it's a, well, we subtract that from sales. You get how much? 33.44. So once we reach the cross profit, because the particular place that you wanted to do the apportionment in the profit and loss account, not the trading account. So this part must be split. So now we split between just because of note two. Only now we have to split split the P and L. Eh? So the trading account is okay, but after gross profits has to be split. So let me let's just agree on the timing here. Yeah? So we can put a formal note here. So let's say before the time. So before retirement, it are four months, eight months. Eh? So we pack a thirty first of August. So that's eight months over twelve. Eight months over twelve is like four over no no two two thirds. Eh? In two thirds, yes. Then you have after after retirement. After retirement, we saw September from September, yeah? so that would be four months of the twelve. So that's one part. It's important to establish that because it will help us to quickly do the 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 adjustments. Right? Uh, so let me put here now. January to August. And that's eight months. Okay, instead of putting eight months, I'll just put shillings, thousands. And then I put here September to December, thousands of shillings. Then I would have said this same cross profit, I bring down. Now I split. I can I can even start with after retirement, uh, with uh, 
September to December, I get a third of this, then I multiply by by two, like that. One third, two thirds, you know? So I can get a third of the gross profit, like divide by three, is that okay? Divide by three, and I get here 11, 61.149. Then I multiply that by two. So two thousand three, twenty-three, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-two point two nine. So when you reach that point, you will look for any trading income. So trading incomes are things like discounts received, ukiwana hapo kwa chao balance, ama insurance compensation for stock, you bado need trading income, ama realized foreign exchange gain, eh? ama discounts received. Any of those who add kwa gross profit, then we will only be that allowable expenses. Remember, this is a different approach. We are not adding back because we do not have any, any profit. Eh? So uh, we look for trading incomes and then we say minus only allowable expenses. You don't deal with disallowable expenses. You only deal with disallowable expenses if you've been given the profit. So you are adjusting. We are not adjusting more. So you adjust when you've been given the profit. So you're adding back and deducting. But here we started from scratch. So to the gross profit, we like trading income. Come as it. Kama hakuna pia tutatumia gross profit peke yake, then unasema less only allowable expenses so that you end up with profit required for tax, purely for tax purposes. So tutafte, kama kuna, kuna trading incomes, eh? Aya, the income ile na unapale mara kwanza, the first paragraph, unasema, is it the first paragraph? No, 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 not the first paragraph. The this uh, drawings, eh? drawing C income. But there's a place I I was just going to give you as an example. There's a place I saw interest on drawings, eh? but interest on, on drawings to is not a trading income. But I just was going to use that as other income so that you make a decision which ones to bring in and which one not to bring in. So drawings. You see income, what uh, and I discount received. Do not discount. You need trading, part of trading. Do you agree? You're not sure? Lean to a discounts received. You need trading income, Mama Utaitaji. Ama wengine wa kuapa pia to say Vera Namasi. Sasa, if you remember, I talked about other. Vera Nasema trading income, she's right. Eh? I, I talked about other specified sources. Other specified sources means it comes from other activities. But discount doesn't come from other activities. It's a business activity. Probably you, you bought in bulk and you're given a trade discount. So it's part of the trading, isn't it? So let's bring in discounts and we split in the same way. Eh? So discounts received is 124. So add here discounts received. So 124 will get a third for the four months. So 124 divided by three. So we get 41. We add here 41 point three three three. Then we multiply that by two. Then I multiply that by two. And probably I'll put here 82.667. So that I get the full amount. So that's one income. 
from trading. Let's look for another income. So uh, the next one, when I say my bad debts recovered, general, what do you say about that? Nasemaji, bad debts recovered. Is it an income to add? Is it a trading income? Bad debts recovered? Anyone? What do you see? Bad debts recovered? I agree with you. It is an income, but Vera is saying it is not trading. It's actually trading. It's actually part of trading uh, because this is bad debts. But we cannot include it. And here is the reason why. It is a general provision. Why can't we include a general provision? It was already taxed. Because bad debts, bad debts are never allowed. Meaning, when you were adjusting last year, or whatever other year, it was added back to the reported profit and tax. Had it been the other type of bad debt specific, which had been allowed, meaning it has not been taxed, I would have added more. So that we tax it for the first time. Does it make sense? So if, if it was specific, I would have added. But generally, it's still part of trading income, but I cannot add it because it has already been taxed, because it was disallowed in the year when it was created. When the amount was deducted from the income statement and transferred to the general income, the general budget account, when we are preparing the statement of adjusted profit, we took it and added back because it's a general provision, then it was taxed. So the only reason why we are not including it is because it has already been taxed. But we must understand it's still business. This is business income, but we cannot have double taxation. That's the only reason why we are not including it. So that's bad debts general. The other items there, normally expenses too, expenses, but I'm still looking for incomes. There's an income at the very end of the trial balance. It's called dividends from Sasa Cooperative Society. It is income, yes, but it's other sources. It's not trading. It's coming from a cooperative. It is taxable income. So we'll deal with it later. Probably in the distribution, she did not hear because it's other specified sources. Do you have any other income item? Uh, Note 4 says interest on drawings was charged at the rate of 10% per annum. Interest on drawings is a cost, which will be a deduction in the distribution schedule. It's not an income. Okay, they pay into the business, but it's not taxable. It's what you deduct from whatever income they, they get. Eh? So that will go into the distribution schedule. Uh, not seven allowance for doubtful debts that will come on the expenses. We paid insurance, accrued sundry expenses. We are done with income. So these are the only business income. So we add this. 